Our objective is to perform the fundamental operations in functions. Let f and g be functions. Each function is defined for all x in the domains of both f and g. Letter A. The sum of f and g is f plus g of x equals f of x plus g of x. Letter B. Difference of f and g is f minus g of x is equal to f of x minus g of x. Letter C. Product of f and g is f times g of x is equal to f of x times g of x. And D. Quotient of f and g is f over g of x equals f of x divided by g of x provided that g of x is not equal to zero. Because when g of x, our denominator, is equal to zero, the function will become undefined. Let us consider the following functions and let us solve number one, v minus p of x. Our first step is definition of subtraction of functions. So this will become v of x minus p of x. Copy the left hand side of the equation. Our next step is replace v of x and p of x by the given values. So our v of x is x squared minus 4x minus 5 minus our p of x is 2x minus 7. Make sure you enclose that in parentheses. Copy this. Our third step will be rearranging the terms. So this will become x squared minus 4x minus 2x minus 5. This will become plus 7. Combine like terms x squared, negative 4x minus 2x, negative 6x, negative 5, plus 7, positive 2. And this is our answer for v minus p of x. Next one, let us try f times p of x. So first step again, definition of this time multiplication of functions. So this will become f of x times p of x. Copy this. Next step, we replace f of x and p of x by the given values. So our f of x is x plus 3 times our p of x is 2x minus 7. Copy this. Third step, multiply the binomials. So we have x times 2x is 2x squared, x times negative 7 is negative 7x, 3 times 2x is positive 6x, and 3 times negative 7 is negative 21. Let us combine like terms. So this will still become 2x squared, negative 7x plus 6x, negative x, copy, minus 21. This will be our final answer for f times p of x. Okay, another example. This time, v divided by g of x. So our first step, definition of this time, division. So this will become v of x divided by g of x. Copy this. We replace v of x and g of x by the given values. So our v of x, x squared minus 4x minus 5, divided by all over our g of x, x squared minus 25. Copy this. Then we factor the numerator and the denominator. So the knowledge in factoring trinomials as well as binomials is an advantage in this lesson. The factors of x squared minus 4x minus 5 are x minus 5 and x plus 1. All over, the factors of x squared minus 25 are x minus 5 and x plus 5. Cancel out the common factors, so x minus 5 and x minus 5. So we will be left with x plus 1 all over x plus 5. So this is our answer for v divided by g 
of x. Okay, next, let us try f plus g of x. So our first step, definition of this time, addition of functions. So we have f of x plus g of x. Copy this. Then we replace again. Our f of x will be replaced with x plus 3 plus our g of x is x squared minus 25. Copy this. And then we rearrange the terms. This will be the first one, x squared plus x plus 3 minus 25. And then we combine like terms, x squared plus x, 3 minus 25 is negative 22. So this is our answer for f plus g of x. So take note of this answer, x squared plus x minus 22. Let's have the next one. So I'm still evaluating here f plus g. But this time, instead of having x here, I have 3. So our previous answer, x squared plus x minus 22, is actually the same as here. So let's proceed. Copy this. Our next step will be to substitute 3 for x. So since we have here 3, we're going to substitute 3 in all our x's here. So this will become 3 squared plus 3, copy, minus 22. And then we simplify. 3 squared is 9. 9 plus 3 is 12. And 12 minus 22 is negative 10. So that will be our answer for f plus g of 3. Now there is another solution here. So we should also arrive with negative 10. So we'll see. First step. So this will be f of 3 plus g of 3. So copy this. Our next step will be to substitute 3 for x in both f of x and g of x. So we're going to substitute 3 in our f of x. So substituting 3 here, this will become 3 plus 3. Then plus, now for g, substituting 3 here, this will become 3 squared minus 25. Copy f plus g of 3. And then we simplify. 3 plus 3 is 6. 3 squared is 9. And minus 25. Copy this. Let us simplify further. 6 plus 9, 15. Copy minus 25. 15 minus 25 is negative 10. So we have the same answer as the previous one. This is our answer for f plus g of 3. Gets?